Hello everyone, my name is Jason and I'll be your teacher for today. I taught you guys last week and I had such a fun time teaching you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed having me too. And so I'm back for the third lesson on the parable of the sower, where today we'll be focusing on the seeds that fell on the thorns this time. So join me in opening prayer as we begin this lesson. Dear Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for bringing us all together this Sunday to be able to listen to your word and that as we speak about the parable of the sower, we are able to understand it fully and we are able to apply it in our lives and we walk out of this lesson knowing something new for your benefit, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, now before we start, let us tune into praise and worship and I'll be right back. Light in the darkness, my God. 
back from praise and worship. Hope you enjoyed praising the Lord. I know I did. But let's get into today's lesson. So today we'll be reading from the book of Matthew. If you guys don't have your Bibles, please pause the video now and go get your Bibles. And once you do, open to the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 7. So what does Matthew chapter 13 verse 7 say? Let's read. It says, Some seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. So what do you think Jesus means by thorns in this instance? In this parable, we know that the seeds fell among the path, the rocky ground, and now the thorns. What do you think Jesus meant by thorns? So let's think about it. What do thorns do to plants? That's right, thorns hurt plants and make it difficult for them to grow. In that same way, the thorns in this story represents things that make it difficult for us to grow in our faith and grow closer to God. Thorns are things that get in our way and make it more difficult to live the life that we want to live. For example, thorns could be anything in your life that you know is distracting you from doing more to get closer to God. I know in my life, I played way too many video games and I was on my phone way too much. And I had to stop and think to myself, is this what God would want me to do? I know he doesn't want me to stop playing video games. I know he doesn't want me to stop using my phone, but maybe I could cut down on how much I do those things and devote it to Bible reading, praying, you know, just devote that time to him. Worship, praise and worship, just devote that time to him. And in that way, we can start removing thorns in our lives. So other thorns could be maybe bad friends, friends that tell you to do things that you, in your heart, you know, we shouldn't be doing. Maybe if it's making a noise in class, if it's disrupting teachers or friends or hurting other people, those are thorns that we should be able to remove from our lives and grow in our faith just like the seeds would have if they were not consumed by the thorns like we would have been consumed by the thorns if we do not remove them from our lives so that brings us to today's memory verse matthew chapter 6 verse 27 matthew chapter 6 verse 27 let's open our bibles there and read it says no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. So in this case, what the scripture is trying to tell us is that if we let things like money, our devices, our friends take us away from God, we can become like the seeds that fell amongst the thorns. Those things that take up your time, maybe TikTok, your phone, games, your friends, all types of things that I know I have things that take up my time as well, but if we let them consume us, we will be just like the seeds that fell amongst the thorns and were not able to grow to their full potential as they were choked out by the thorns. And that's not what we want for ourselves. We want to be able to grow our faith and we should be able to do that by focusing more of our time on the word. We can read our Bibles, we can sing praise and worship songs, spend more time in prayer, just for us to grow that relationship with God. So I just want you to make a little list of things that you think could be thorns in your lives. Some things that you think could be taking you away from being as close to God as you could possibly be. And I want you to, throughout this coming week, try and cut down on them, even try remove them completely if you can, and replace them with things that will help you grow your faith and help you grow your relationship with God. So let's remember to keep our hearts and our minds focused on God and not let the thorns in our lives uh, try and take us away and deter us and try and choke us out of our faith just as a gardener needs to tend to his plants and his crops to ensure that they grow. In the same way, we need to attend to our faith and make sure that we can let it grow by reading the Bible, by praying every day and by just being kind to people. And in that way, we can help grow our faith in our relationship with God. So saying this, let's just close in prayer quickly. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. And please help us recognize the thorns in our lives. And please help us keep our hearts and our minds focused on you so that we can continue to make the right decisions and continue to grow our faith and continue to grow in our relationship with you as we 
go into these coming weeks, we ask that you send angels to watch over us throughout this week and I will continue to make the right decisions and I will be saved to meet again next week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope it made sense. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you.